Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SQL Server, performance monitoring and tuning video brought to you by SQLworkshops.com. In this video, we will take a look at the extended event query post execution show plan. Query post execution show plan is very useful to find problematic queries and execution plans based on CPU usage or duration. Can you find expensive execution plans using SQL Server Profiler? You cannot, but you can with extended events. But this event has an overhead. In this video, we will take a look at this event and the overhead. Let's practice an example. To practice this example along with me, you need the SQL test tool. If you don't have the SQL test tool, you can go to sqltest.org and click on download. There you will find a link to install SQL test. Once you have SQL test tool installed, you can click on file, open online examples. There you will find the example SQL test underscore X events query post execution show plan. Let's press OK to open this example. In this example, we are creating a table called tab 72. This table has three columns. C1 is integer, primary key clustered. C2 is also integer. C3 is Unicode character 2000, that is NCAR 2000. We are inserting 50,000 rows into this table. Column C1 and C2 will have values from 1 until 50,000. Column C3 will have replicate A2000 except for one row that is for C1 equal to 10,000, where it will have the value Advanced SQL Server Performance Monitoring and Tuning Hands-On Workshop from SQLworkshops.com. To create this table, you can click on Workload 4 and click on Start Current. The table has been created. Let's go to Workload 1. In Workload 1, we are executing the select statement, selecting from tab 72, where C3 like person SQL workshop, percent a pattern matching predicate and C1 between 1 and 10. And we are executing this query in a loop for 1000 times in this patch. And we are executing this patch for 120 seconds. Let's start this workload. To start this workload, you click on workload 1 and you click on start current. Let's see the average execution time for this query. There it is, 2,229 milliseconds for 1,000 executions. If you want to look at this time in milliseconds, you can click on tools and you can choose average DB time in milliseconds. There you see 2.1 second for 1,000 executions. Let's remember this time. Let's cancel this workload. Let's now execute with predicate C1 between 1 and 1 instead of 1 and 10. Let's start this query. There you see it is 227 milliseconds for 1000 executions for predicate C1 between 1 and 1. Let's cancel. So 2.1 seconds when we have predicate C1 between 1 and 10 and 227 when we have predicate C1 between 1 and 1 for 1000 executions. Now let's create the event and start the event. To do that, we will go to the website sqlvideo.com and let's click on X events. Here you can choose the event query post execution show plan. And it suggests that we add this predicate CPU time greater than or equal to 5 million microseconds, that is 5 seconds, and counter less than or equal to 100. This means don't collect more than 100 events. And we will use ring buffer. So I choose ring buffer and I click on script. Let's copy the script into one of our management studio windows. Here I am creating the event and I am also creating a view to read the XML data as rows. 
let's execute let's create the event and the view now let's go back to the SQL test tool let's put back our predicate c1 between 1 and 10 and let's execute this workload you remember it used to be 2.1 second now it's still 2.1 seconds because we haven't started the extended event let's start this event by executing the statement with state equal to start now let's go back to the sql test tool and now let's do start current there you see instead of 2.1 second it is 2.3 seconds so it's around 200 to 300 milliseconds overhead for thousand executions for a single execution is about 200 to 300 microseconds let's cancel this query let's now execute with predicate c1 between 1 and 1 you remember it used to take 227 milliseconds now let's do start current now it takes 433 milliseconds again this has increased little bit more than 200 milliseconds for thousand executions so for a single execution the increase it is about 200 microseconds now let's start the workload 2 workload 2 execute the statement let's execute this workload alone this statement looks for this pattern in the entire table without a predicate on column c1 and this takes about 10 seconds you see this takes about 10 seconds let's cancel this query let's go and stop our extended event session now let's start this extended event session again and now we will execute workload 1 and workload 2 concurrently to do that i type 1 comma 2 in the custom workload and then i start this custom workload now you see workload 1 and workload 2 are executing concurrently and here we have a predicate c1 between 1 and 1 so this is taking around 433 milliseconds this time hasn't changed because the overhead is so negligible that we don't even notice it it is still taking 10 seconds we should have now two events in the extended event session let's cancel this let's go to our extended event view and let's execute these two queries there you see we have two events two query post execution show plan the cpu time here you see 10 million microseconds nearly for both of them and here you see the execution plan let's cancel this we already cancelled it let's make a summary before we start with the summary i want to remind you that you should stop the extended event session that we started if not it will keep collecting expensive execution plans while adding overhead to the executing queries query post execution show plan is a very useful event to analyze performance issues query post execution show plan can increase the execution time of queries by fraction of a millisecond irrespective of the total query cost this means the overhead is high for cheaper queries compared to expensive queries there are concerns among consultants that the overhead is so high that this event is not usable if most of your queries are executing within fraction of a millisecond then query post execution show plan event will significantly slow down the overall performance as the relative overhead is high on the other hand if most of your queries are executing in 10 milliseconds or 
more, then the overhead is manageable. For most SQL Server implementations, this should not be an issue. I suggest that you test the overhead for a short period on a non-peak hour before you start using this for troubleshooting expensive queries. In all cases, you should enable this event on an ad hoc basis and with restrictive predicate to limit the number of events. Thanks for watching this video. Send me your comments and suggestions by email. Bye.